Yes, let us move on to the next scene that is scene 5 and this is the last scene of uh, one act by the watchman of the lake written by R.K. Narayan. Dear friends, we have up till seen that in scene 4, Mara runs to the king's palace and requests to stop the burst which has to be made by the goddess. And goddess commanded Mara to inform the king. He, Mara also requests the goddess, let me permit goddess to inform what you are going to do to the king. And then, until I return, please don't dis destroy the tank or the lake. And the goddess agrees to it. And she can give the permission, gives the permission to uh, go uh, and inform the king by Mara. Mara goes to palace and informs the king. And he requests to save the lake, he sacrifices his life. How is that? He, he requests the king to cut his head off. That means he cannot return, he could not return to the lake, the, to the spot where Goddess uh, was there. So until he returns, Goddess is unable to destroy. She can't destroy. Because she has given permission, she has been agreed to the condition of Mara. So, the finally, king cuts off Mara's head. And also Mara, before the, his uh, being head cut off, he requests the king. That means, that is, my son should be the next watchman. And he is the son, my son's son should be the next watchman. That means following generations, the watchman ship of that lake should be to our clan, to our family. This was the request of Mara to the king. Then, as it were, Mara dies. And then in scene 5. The Ganga, Ganga, Mara's son. Ganga, Mara's son, is seen with his son at the shrine beside the lake built for his father. See, shrines or temples are built either for the gods and goddesses or any uh, for example, in Tamil Nadu, there is a temple for uh, the cine actor Krishna, like this one. But here, the celebrities, temples are for celebrities also. Now this shrine or the temple is built for his father, that is Mara, who was called as a lunatic and a madman and a fool by the village headman and the people who are uh, uh, laughing uh, at uh, Mara. He has got the worship and he explains to his son the significance of the shrines and the story behind it. And the story behind it. He also reminds him that the duties of watching the lake pass on from Ganga to his son and the following generations. So this watchmanship should be continued to their family. The watchman should be the member of this Mara's family. So this is the sacrifice of Mara to the village. Let us come to the conclusion. The story has a rich elements of folklore. Folklore means Janapadiya Samskriti. We can have the principles 
we can have the uh, rich elements, rich resources of folklore. Janapada Sampattu andre, haagya. Janapada Iyaru andre, haagya Gramiya Sanskrithi. Yashtundu Adhudu Vajrata de, rural civilization is very very important for the upliftment of uh, any nation. It also gives, the story also gives, that is, this one act, the Watchman of the Lake also gives a strong message. It gives a strong message. What is that message? To the readers. It gives a strong message to the readers that uh, conserving our precious natural resources, what we are doing nowadays in the contemporary world, we are exhausting, we are uh, <coughs> We are totally exhausting natural resources, more than what we need, exhausting resources. We have to conserve, we have to protect our natural resources. This is the message. Uh, it is very, very important for... It is to uh, preservation or conservation or protection of uh, the natural resources. It is very, very important for the sustenance of not only human beings but also other creatures on this universe, on this world. Mara, an innocent villager, this is a very rustic man, an innocent man who was called as a lunatic by the village headman and people were laughing at him. This such a common man common man, an innocent man, performs his duties honestly. Whenever he was a watchman of the lake, he did his uh, duty very honestly. During the course of second time, during the course of second time, that means when Goddess uh, commands, that means uh, he says that I will destroy the lake, he had a Goddess in his he acts immediately to salvage the tank. To salvage means to rescue the tank from bursting its packs. From bursting. She says that I will burst the tank. So she, he rescues. How he rescues? He never hesitates to sacrifice his own life. He requests, I have already told him, he requests the king to cut his head off. That means he sacrifices himself, his life. For what? For the welfare of the uh, village and welfare of the, the capital or the state. He never hesitates to sacrifice his life in order to protect the lake. Arkinarayan, in this way, highlights the ethical values attached to the beliefs and customs of our folk ancestors. Our folk ancestors, that's why I unselfish man. They, were, they are very innocent, but they will give contribute more to the nation, more to the culture, more, good, more to the tradition. This is what we have to uh, understand by this uh, one and play that is the watchman of the lake uh, written by Arkana. This completes the one and play uh, written by Arkana Ryan. Well, thank you very much, dear friends.